These guys are both gentlemen outside the ring and they're both animals in the ring. And that's what I love about boxing. The well, transition from the street in. How about this change? Marquez trained using yoga and Bradley is a vegan. And it's been a pick em fight all week long. We're about to have a lot of questions answered right now, Colonel. Yes, we are. You mentioned one thing, Christine. Some version and variation of what we're looking at right now for round So successfully lands. Merrick tries it again. But it worked. It didn't catch him flush. Bradley's buck blocked him pretty well. And that's a beautiful vintage uppercut by Marquez. The warrior comes out there. You notice he didn't take a step back. He took a step in after he got hit. He didn't, Colonel. And that, and there's another big left hook. And he's caught him a couple times with an uppercut and the hook so far. That's important, Larry, because there's an inch height difference here in well, favor of... Bradley uh, was notorious for using his head physically. He'll use it for sure. And it, a prominent head, that is. That's a, that's a rather large head. Marquez has built up his body, which he has. You can see that Bradley is a naturally bigger Ooh, sensational professionals. And the more quick sword jab. The two professionals in the ring are truly legendary. Giving a different look. This round to start that he did the first. To the left, that's it, that's it. For that, that liver shot again. But it certainly counts the body of your opponent. Now we know how you fight, Chris. I'm a dirty Really has come up with a plan. We'll see what it is, but it, they're, they're yelling well, at us. Ultimate, ultimately, ultimately, it's the fighter. Bradley seemed a little more comfortable in there. Yeah, you're right, Murray. I noticed that too. He, seems, he knows what this is all about. For him, nice foot. Yes, it's being disciplined to remain Second round, Thomas and Mack loaded up the right. Minute to go. He gets his angle. You don't want to come straight in to Marquez. We talked about him being a counter puncher. For the body that time, it just coming in. Another dip. And you're right, Mario. He's one of the best. You know, you get the feeling that he's, he's trying to set something up. He's trying to define what is he doing, where can I get it. Is of course a light champion, multi division champion, one man. Records, Bradley's eight no in championship fights, and my but Pacquiao was a good matchup for him in yes. the semi forward. He was always looking to land big punches, and Marquez could play off that. On paper, if he bites down on that mouthpiece and chooses to exchange, then then that's when he can get in trouble. Marquez. At what point, two gentlemen, does Marquez? But he bounces back to the right, stops, plants, anything but straightforward. And that's the way to be. But that's not how he's fought. The crowd will cheer because it's about 80% Mexican fans in attendance tonight. That's being gentle. Nothing on that punch. But in the seats so far, they get really excited. You gotta remember anything. That's not being generous. Conservative. Conservative, excuse me. Yes, exactly. Now, I'm definitely a conservative. My man James Cowell doesn't particularly agree with me. But neither does his wife agree with him. Is that out? But it's not likely he'll change. James makes the miss again. Beautifully slips the punch. He's rolling with the punch. It looks like he's getting hit, but he's rolling with them pretty well. Still in. That to me is a definite Bradley round. Little Bob Sheridan here with Larry Merchant. Glad that you could be with us. He's going to punch you with us as well. Wow, with the punch, punch, which is what I believe. He's starting to feel the skill of war. And great champions like him could do things. If he comes back and lands some shot. But I don't think his timing is boxing like this all night. It would be wrong. It been wrong before. Round four. Well, they can, they can, they can pull it off. It'll help. Well, you try it. You get caught, you get caught. They're going to find out. 
and uh, Los Angeles, but basically, tells you a place where you get great. Not quite the war that we're sexually expected. But that's all in favor of Tim. He's the ring general. Because he's doing what he's got to do to win, yet somehow it doesn't win over the public. I'm clamored to want to see a Bradley when he fights like this. Would you rather take the Klitschko's money and fame? Or would you want to look at the issue here? Because certainly Marquez is not fighting any more aggressively than... The brawls and please the public. Uh, but, you know, that's a... But, but not much happened there and all. No combination of Brayhair and Vaseline. <laughs> oh, it's the Vaseline. He is the real deal is on that yeah, case. Right. Right. <laughs> the nice exchange. Tim landed the that's left right. hand with the right one up behind the ear. I think it's Bradley in there. Oh, oh, right. Blow to the body, we're not here. Stiff. The chair may he go, may he go. Goes up. Reaches downstairs. Jabbed in the Marquez, another great one. Landed on the left to Greece. Not sure knows what he's doing over there next one. Yeah, since then, I haven't seen him around. You know, we're all sort of warrior. It's certainly not what he... Good hell, Jeff. Oh, no question. Unlike, he has nothing, you know. He just looks like he just landed. Eventually, this guy's going to wilt and he'll stop it. Because this is not... It's a war of nerves. Who can make the other guy get out of first? Well, that's true. You know, that, that's what goes with what I was saying, Larry. You know, what Tim, maybe it's just that I'm so tremendously successful. Well, to me, since guys with similar styles, usually... As long as you can hit a fight like this, this is perfect for him. Look at this. Pop the jab, pop the jab. Uh, don't get sucked into what I suggested that I thought he might do. He's controlling these rounds, but at any moment, as we saw him from getting that change. See him one more time. Just with Marquez's power, too, which is so hard to count him out. We sit here on the edge of our seat as Bradley. And around near this one. Downstairs he goes. Tim Trump's Now Marquez opens up. They trade Tim. Oh! At the end, he's counting him. He's counting him. He's coming in. So it could happen. And I personally would love to see it happen. Squared up a bit is Marquez looking to throw in for him. And it's wide as it's been all night. Jim in and out. In and out. Many as he did in the last round of this day. Good lead right hand. Colonel, but I think you're right. I think they'll have his moment to catch up. Such a level. And this is what I'm seeing out of him uh, well, right now. Again, it's the opponent. And recall that I said earlier, the fighter will come along who exposes it. Whether this can go 12 rounds is what we're here to find out. I'm more concerned about the beating as opposed to the dramatic knockout that he landed. And I think that affected him more. Should show us tonight. The very first time I see this guy will right and 40 years old approaching the middle of this fight. And in every interview we did this week, he talked about how much they worked on his feet. It'll It'll show. Show. Yeah, and Mario, there's a long way to go. We're only his mind is there, but he can't pull the trigger. Well, yeah. when they're in their prime, they're punching as the openings develop. There's another big counter round. My kids wants to try to catch him. He's been successful in the last couple of seconds. That ends the six. How could he take a punch after that concussions he to next week? So we'll evaluate his prime in a place called Denver. In their prime, potential barn burner. Me Meanwhile, we have a bit Colorado in the United States of America. And that's going to be two men. Uh, this is an interesting graphic we've got up there for you. Nuz, 18, Bradley, 1. Wait, and that is telling, and I think that's more to the experience of Marquez, of course. It's the position, Mario. Trying to test the ground between them, see if he can find some place comfortable a little closer. And he's going to test him. He's frustrated right now. He he's wants him to mix it up and roll with him. He's starting to move forward gradually. In and out, in and out. Wow, with that shot. Look at the job he does defensively. That straight, big 
right hands. Windmilling. Did you know something, Larry? That punch to me doesn't look. Yeah, he's underrated as defensively. You're right about that. He made Pacquiao miss a lot. Yeah. But I don't know how much is left on his punch. See, he's missing. Can you see the second letter? Something like that. So many names. Uh, Robinson. Yes, yes. <laughs> indication to me that the, you you get the best line. It was a fight that said, you know, your mind's there, your brain's out there. After such a high and, and such dramatic fashion with that knockout. Sugar Ray Robinson. And could there be something except for the fact that... Trends. Uh, and how professional. Still uh, a 40-year-old body that has been 60 years. That's a lot. Yeah. And maybe not open up that story anymore. All right, here we go, round eight. Juan Manuel Marquez stopping up, as I've said a couple of times in Las Vegas, pick up a paycheck and thumb his way up to Canastota, New York. Bradley. And he's been punched out like this most of the evening. And again, Juan Manuel, he'll go into the Hall of Fame five years after he quit fighting. Good right hand, a quick little right hand by Bradley. Uh, and what George did was trap him. Marquez capable of setting a trap and changing the course of the fight. With this size, the last thing to go is a punch. And they have to do it physically. You know, with George, it's different because George throws clubbing punches at the heavyweight. Giving him the opportunity to create it. Well, we don't, we, don't, we don't see some consistent pattern. He's changed up. He's, that he saw a tell from This is a tough puzzle to, to figure out. He get caught with a light left hand on the inside, went right back, stepped outside, recoiled. Now he's almost inviting Marquez to come in because it's a frustrating look bad. And, and he doesn't look great. You know, I was mentioning earlier, I, I, it was hard for me to define its effective. Marquez looks a little bit frustrated, like he's not able to, to land the shots. He's and is he a boxer? Is he a brawler? But what, what he is, is sort of awkward to his back. Well, Almost one, like he's getting frustrated in there. You're right, you're right. He's very frustrated. Therefore, he's going out. Tim decided my scoring is almost always in line with Robin Hoyles. Bradley, the book hasn't been finished yet. But he's round nine, Thomas and Mack. Juan Manuel Marquez. You know. Get this guy figured out tonight. Not enough to hurt Bradley. But you see, bro, Marquez is now knows the game. And he's... A nice left hook by Marquez. He's got to go on the assault. He has the GBA, and but that's what the last four rounds are all about. He's got to stay. Whether he gets him or not, I don't know. Something happened. Well, he needs to step out of his comfort zone and his hands go if he has any intention of wanting to be victorious at this point, in my opinion. So I think Mario, Jan, Brooke, actually has been there three or four rounds ago. Uh, he's not feeling him out. In Las Vegas, the over and under on the betting line. I feel. And don't question it. Is. But this is which was nine and a half. This is Mark Dippin. Mark has an advantage doing all that feeling out earlier. Great thing that Tim's doing. Is not getting sucked into the wall. To his box. Barely missing with that upper. Neither by the spider shaking. Nobody bloody. Pressure here in the ninth round. Nice upper cut. Saw some life in Marquez in this night, this last round. Dropping. Oh, he's gonna hurt him. Or he can't win this fight. Sells a clicking right on the money. Big left hook from Marquez. Marquez left eye is Down. Just the feeling I have. Tim bending way over, so he really can't do anything. But he was back. Marquez stalking, trying to still counter punch. The top of your head. 
if you want to break your hand. And I'm surprised that Marquez hasn't adjusted a little. You can see the skills. You can see the card. But I don't see the electricity. I am quite with him on the road. Based on that, I'm giving Now these have been very close rounds and we discussed that the judges may have been seeing it. We have it 98 92. Doesn't mean the judges don't have an indication of what we think the judges might be doing. Christina just showed me some scores from Press Row. Kevin, Kevin Ioli from, from Yahoo. Yeah, from Yahoo and Dan Rickenell from ESPN Sports. Have it 96 90. I respect These judges. I respect the, the I do too. I absolutely do the best judges in the world. I sit down with Dan Raphael before every fight, and Kevin Ioli and I sit in the Nevada Boxing Hall of Fame together. So I respect two rounds ago he left his fight plan and made a big adjustment. He hasn't been able to slow down, and he has stuck to his game plan, but hasn't been in a fast-paced situation. Moving in and out, making sure that and counter him early. Bradley doesn't look great. Marquez. Would make this really interesting right now, but to maybe close it out strong these last couple of rounds. But that man is ahead. We'll find out. I mean, one thing for sure. Marquez won that round. At least a knockdown to end with a draw. I get a 107 102. He'd have to knock him out of my score sheet. Or knock him down a couple of times. WBO, welterweight championship of the world on the line. You know, Is it what Marquez? Well, I'm thinking of two younger fighters in which the younger Flancy told me that it was the greatest mistake of his life, not to, his title, that he wanted to win it in these last fights. And it's a mistake if he wants to win the fans' approval. With he hasn't shown any excessive testosterone to them. And he stuck to the game plan very well. Unfortunately, it's Providnikov, and he just wants to win this one. Don't let him take it away from you, in case the judges have a whole lot closer to the week. Too late, Timothy. Go after him. Because I'll tell you this, Marquez is in the same ball in this round. And Marquez is winning this round, but it's not going to in the final round of that fight. I guarantee you that's it. Fans go, and he was a busy fighter, and he was overwhelming. Bradley, that See, hasn't been the case tonight. See, Mario, he got all the way to Texas, but he's still missing. See that? Yeah. He has a world of his winner there. He's had his moments, and I still think he's done enough to win this round. Oh, here he goes. It's awesome. He almost dropped it. How about that? Don't forget it, though. He almost dropped it. Will that punch win him the round? I give it to him. And the fight. End of the round, both the gentlemen in the corner. Bradley coming with a looping overhand right. Both letting the leather fly. Bradley closing out. What a, here's a Bradley shot with a nice right hand over the top. Nice counter left hook, right hand combination from Marquez that Bradley was sort of rolling with, but not a lot of contact. One of the highlights for him in that round. Another right hand to the taunt. I think a lot of frustration. That body, body shot landed, by the way, from Marquez, causing Bradley to really want to open up. And I think, gentlemen, end of the round, both fighters taunting each other. Marquez really committing to the top. Bro, for one guy against two legendary fighters, anything that Marquez does, he might pick up a round here and there. He's by all means not overwhelming him. He'll he'll catch a, a, a shot here and there like he did with that overhand right that we just saw, and Marquez happened to catch him with a right, but neither fighter really landing. Like this as we watch the replay. Marquez, both men landing nice, nice jabs. Showing great bobbing and weaving and defense, Bradley. Watch Marquez, he has some success. Nice straight right hand. The point where Marquez is gonna need a knockout. Or Nine. something dramatic. Or something dramatic. Another look, nice straight right hand. 
Marquez has had his moments, but they're few and far between, which I think is underrated. Not many people talk about. Here's another look at it. Marquez missing You're with great. it. Here's a nice exchange by Marquez. Nice stiff left jab. End of the round with a body shot. Ladies and gentlemen, by way of win Las Vegas, we go to the scorecards. Glenn Feldman scores the contest 115 to 113. He scores it for Marquez. Robert Hoyle scores it 115, 113, and he has it for Bradley. Patricia Morse Jarman scores the contest 116 to 112 to the winner by split decision. And still, WBO welterweight champion of the world from Palm Springs, California, USA, Timothy Desert scores.